Okay, hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for supporting the channel. So we're going to go ahead and do a general message from our Virgos that are dealing with another Earth sign, a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. Now, it's not a personal reading. It is a general. So take the parts that resonate and leave the rest. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thank you to those who do reach out for those. Thank you to those who donate to the channel. And thank you to those who have subscribed, okay? So let's jump into this, see what the energy is for you. My Virgos are dealing with another earth sign. Thank you, Spirit. What is the energy here for the collective? I do hope that everybody is well, Virgos. My Virgos dealing with another earth sign. All right, for, so straight off the bat, I'm seeing here with the full card and the eight of swords, there's someone here who's definitely in their head about taking a leap of faith here. Um, so this could be them wanting to come towards you, or it could be you wanting to go towards them, right? There goes dealing with another earth sign, last shuffle. Oh, it feels like someone here feels like they could be happy with you. But always this energy of something from the past that may have interfered with this situation. High Priestess, Six of Cups, or Five of Cups. For some of you, whoever this, that, whoever this is that may want to come towards you, they may already be involved with someone else. Um, I mean, you could be taking on the Queen of Cups energy where this person maybe sees you as, you know, someone who's very loving and caring. Um... Let's see. What is the energy here for my Virgos that are dealing with another earth sign? Thank you, Spirit. Show me. Well, hmm, coming out sideways, Ten of Wands and the Ace of Swords. So for some of you, there's a blockage here. The blockage, what could be causing this blockage is either communication or some kind of truth um, or clarity that needs to be brought to a situation. Someone here may need to come towards you and tell you the truth, but maybe they find that that's too difficult here. Maybe they feel like telling you the truth is going to be too much for you to handle. I don't know. Ten of Wands and Ace of Swords. Show me. What about those dealing with another Earth sign? It's a lot of cards. A lot of cards. So I see the Two of Cups, I see the Queen of Wands, and I see the Page of Swords. So is the difficulty how confident you are, Virgos? Is the difficulty that you come across as very self-assured, you don't underestimate yourself, you are a go-getter, um, you, know, you know, I almost wanted to say you don't have self-esteem issues, but, you know, not too much on that. Um... I feel like everybody has some kind of issues with themselves, right? But maybe you just move very confidently. Maybe you're very um, attractive, um, the Queen of Wands, right? And maybe this person feels a little bit safer just kind of watching you behind the scenes, right? Page of Swords. It's that spying energy. Let me keep an eye on what the Virgo's doing. Um, whether it's via online, whether this person lives near you, whether this is someone you work with, right? Whether this is someone that can see you walk past them every day. I don't know. But the Two of Cups and the Ace of Swords, it gives me the vibes of, do you know what? This person knows that they have feelings for you. Ace of Wands with a full card. Yeah, look at that. But there's confusion here. Because this, you could have walked away from this person. Maybe this person didn't invest in this situation, right? Eight of Cups. Maybe this person has a whole family, Ten of Pentacles, and maybe they feel stuck here. Maybe there's an issue here around money, and maybe they want to apologize. There's a lot of scenarios here. What is the Ace of Swords? The Seven of Wands. What's the seven of wands? What's the seven of wands? Thank you, Spirit. Show me. The king of wands. Hmm. I don't know 
know if somebody's trying to protect some kind of truth around that involves somebody else. Could be a fire sign here. It doesn't have to be. But the Seven of Wands was about protection. It can also talk about somebody being very defensive. And then that would give me the Eight of Wands. So I feel like there's, I don't know what the communication is, but like I said, it could have something to do with somebody else. It could maybe um, leave you disappointed here. Yeah, Queen of Wands out here as well. What is the Ace of Swords and the Queen of Wands? Thank you. The Hanged Man. Pisces Energy. So someone's feeling stuck here. But they're also seeing something from a different perspective. Show me more for this hangman. The hermit and the chariot. <laughs> so someone's in thinking mode right now. And I really do feel like it's a thinking about, hey, whether they should come towards you, right? The chariot. It also, with the hermit, it could be that someone here, you know, the hermit's looking at that bird, okay? So it could also be that this person may be getting signs and synchronicities about you. You know, the chariot also means that somebody's being divinely guided somewhere. So show me going forward. Actually, let me get one on the Ten of Wands and the Two of Cups. Thank you, Spirit. I feel like that side of the cards is calling me. <laughs> Look at that part of the deck, the Fool card and the Hermit. It's almost like somebody wants to take a risk here. But the Fool card is also about somebody making a move on a leap of faith, right? Look at that. Towards happiness, the Ten of Cups. Now, this could also give me the vibes of somebody and somebody here maybe feeling, hey, should I leave a family situation? Ten of Wands, right? Take a leap of faith towards the Two of Cups. Show me the Ten of Wands and the Two of Cups. Wow, all in the reverse. Six of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune. Now, if some of you are... Hmm. I don't know. It kind of gives me the vibes. If some of you are in this relationship with someone, um, Earth signs, like with this other Earth sign, or they may be in a relationship with someone, or you may be in a third relationship, I don't know. But it feels like somebody here... If, Maybe in a two of cups situation, a relationship, a partnership or whatever. But with that ten of wands, it would tell me that. So the two of cups doesn't have to be relationship is what they're saying to me, right? It could be someone partnered up with somebody to do something. But the six of wands in the reverse, no victory, no celebration. No stability, no finances. I'm hearing no growth. No opportunity. And we have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Bad karma. I could also feel like someone feels like, hey, I see that some it would be successful. I feel like I could have something over there with this other person, but maybe the timing isn't right. So show me going forward. That hangman is out there. Maybe someone's stuck with a fire sign. I don't know. Show me more. Going forward, my Virgo's dealing with an earth sign, a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. Thank you, Spirit. Page of Wands. Oh, King of Pentacles. I'm hearing message. <laughs> so then someone may reach out. Maybe it's just not the right time. I don't know, Virgos. What's this page you want? Ooh, what's this page of wands? Four ones. Ooh. Nine of cups. The star card? Yeah, but what is this seven of swords and this five of coins and the four of swords? 
Someone's feeling left out in the cold here. There was some deception here. There was some lies. There was some cheating. There was someone here that tried to get away with something. Now someone wants to heal something. Or it could be, I don't know, for some of you, this could even be that, you know, somebody's feeling left out in the cold financially because of what someone did here, right? We saw that Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. We saw the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. And the Six of Wands in the reverse. Somebody is maybe reflecting about something. How something they thought was going to be successful isn't. But there's someone over here that's doing good or somebody sees somebody doing good, right? Page of Wands, it talks about good news. The Star card, it talks about somebody healing or being a healer. Aquarius energy. And then you have the Nine of Cups. It talks about wish fulfillment. Four of Wands talks about stability, marriage, a union. <laughs> I'm hearing together forever. <laughs> All right. So let's get some cards. What's the sign of Virgo? How can you support this message? Thank you, Spirit. Give me two cards for the here and now. For Virgo. Ooh. Both in the reverse. Okay. So we have, I mean, we have the child card in the reverse. Now it can tell me two things with this energy. It can tell me that, you know, someone may not be feeling, let's say, their usual upbeat self. They may feel like all the fun and, you know, happiness or lighthearted energy has gone out of a situation or even gone out of them. But this could also represent that maybe there was some kind of lies that was told um, in a situation about a child. I'm also hearing around a pregnancy. And then you have the journey in the reverse. With the journey in the reverse, I'm hearing don't leave. So again, I don't know if someone here got caught up in a situation because maybe they thought something was happening or, you know, they needed to be around or someone here needed to um, face up to their responsibilities. But it could have been just so that one other person doesn't go anywhere to delay someone. Hangman. Stuck energy. So someone definitely could be finding something out about a fire sign or finding out some information or some, some truth or seeing the clarity um, about someone. Give me two going forward. Thank you, Spirit. My Virgo's dealing with another earth sign. Main male coming out sideways is the occupation. Do you know what I'm getting, Virgos? I don't know if some of you kind of maybe do something like, like what I do or maybe you give information to people or even advice, right? Um, but it kind of feels like somebody's reflecting back to something that either you said, you did, or something someone watched. Like I said, for some of you, this could be someone that you work with here that has their eye on you, that is seeing you as good news, seeing you in this star, Nine of Cups energy here. Almost daydreaming about having a relationship with you. Show me more. For my Virgo, that this may be a romantic situation. Thank you, Spirit. Give me three cards. My Virgo is dealing with another earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. Thank you. So first one we have is trust. It says this situation is calling for you to have faith. But I always say in this card, even though it's a trust card, you know, it's like this man has like a little wand behind his back, you know. It's like, what are you up to? 
even though he's looking this woman in her face, you know. Show me more. Give me two more cards. The sign of Virgo, thank you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's wanting to turn over, but it's way too many cards. Now, the top one says soulmate. But right behind it, I could also see here deception. Sign of Virgo. Two more cards. Thank you. We have free yourself. It says it's time to take back control of your life. Oh, and then we have reconciliation. So again, this third party energy. For some of you, it looks like this other earth sign may have had to leave something behind, let something go, realize something, you know, before they could kind of come back towards you. Give me one more. Yeah, for some of you, this was family that interfered somehow. Oh, see, look at this. I'm only going to show you the top one. Too many cards. It says worth waiting for. It says divine time is at work in your love life. And there's that nine of pentacles energy. And then there's make the effort. But we also have separation. I feel like that there's maybe a third party here somehow interfering with this connection. For those of you that this may be love, right? It doesn't have to be. So, let's get some from the hidden truth. Give me some hidden truths from this other earth sign. Thank you, spirit. First card out here, it says, we both know I'm not the one for you. Ooh, it landed on that two of cups. So show me more. That was I bury myself in work to forget you. Give me some cards from this other earth sign. What is in their emotions? Thank you, spirit. You have I'm so attracted to you. And then we have in the reverse, I lost myself for a little while. So again, you know, is this that energy of... um? I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Again, that energy of a water sign. Anything else on this deck for my Virgos dealing with another earth sign? Thank you, spirit. They're coming out in the reverse. It says I hid behind material things. It says I want to feel that way again. So coming out in the reverse, again, you know, it gives me the energy. Someone here may have chose somebody for material things. Someone may have chose somebody for what they look like. But coming in the reverse, is somebody coming to some kind of realization that, hey, do you know what? That is not what life is about. Not when it comes down to love. Not when it comes down to true love. Anything else? It says, I will wait for a sign from you. Now, that's, that could be what the Page of Swords is about, right? Page of Swords, hangman. I'll wait to see if Virgo reaches out. I'll wait to see, you know, if something changes, something shifts. But I don't know. It kind of feels like um, for some of you, if this person isn't willing to make a move, this may be a missed opportunity. So give me some cards from this deck for the sign of Virgo to support this message. Thank you, Spirit. My Virgos that want to fix this. What is the advice here? Anything else? Ooh. My Virgos that may want to fix this situation. What is the advice here? No, the advice. Take it, leave it. It's just advice. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Interesting. So let's see what we got. So the first card here is the number 43, and it says a time for spirit, the lotus flower. Now to me, this is about peace, balance, and harmony. This is about somebody going into that hermit energy and really listening to themselves, and we had the hermit card out here. This also gives me earth angel vibes, I don't know. So we have the number 36, and it says... Healing from heartache. Hmm.
And then we have a number 18, which is boiled down to the number nine, which is one of my favorite cards. It's the energy of the nine of wands. It's the energy of even though you have been through a lot, the wounded warrior, you know, this talks about you not giving up. This talks about you still fighting. This talks about not letting other people, places and things bring you down. It says stiff, bored, oh my goodness, and stuck, I'm telling you. Stiff, bored and stuck. Someone here may be in another relationship that maybe just ain't cutting it for them anymore. Or maybe they've seen something else, met someone else, been somewhere else. That just sparks their interest. So let's end with Archangel Michael. What is the advice here, Archangel Michael? Ooh, messy. Give me two cards. My Virgo is dealing with another Earth sign, a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn. Ooh. So the first card that we have is, it's a number 29 and it says stay the course. So who was trying to distract someone here? Who was trying to stop somebody from going where it is? That it looks like the universe says, hey, you're destined to go over there. Again, not for everyone. It says, stay the course. It says, don't panic. It says, you're not on the wrong path. It says, you're just having a bumpy start. It says, learn from your experiences and keep going. So Spirit says, you know, all right, hang there for a little while. Think about what it is that you need to think about. You know, recognize your truth here. But then you find the confidence to keep going whoever was trying to delay your journey spirit says nah turn that back upside the right way number 10 the end of a chapter so you have the number 44 which i believe is an angel number right it says you will manifest what you want it says express gratitude as if your plans have already come to pass it says, trust that your angels are bringing you the assistance you need. So trust that everything is working out the way it's supposed to. So Virgos, that is what I have for you for now. If you're dealing with another earth sign, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, guys, do hit that thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Again, my information is always down below. For those of you that are interested in a personal reading, but if this is where we part, guys, stay safe. Love and light, Virgos.